Conversations with head coach Fred Harbinson on castanet.net. I'm your host, Fraser Rogers. Uh, overall, pretty good week again for the Vs. Obviously, that uh, well-publicized win streak came to an end on Saturday, but let's start with the big picture. You had four or six points last week in a busy schedule. Overall, are you pretty happy with that outcome? Yeah, you know, you know, going 11 and two to start the year. Uh, you know, I told our guys, you know, pretty, ex- pretty excited about that. And um, you know, you have three tough games in a week. It was some travel in there, and I thought we were, uh, you know, outstanding on Wednesday. You know, had to win a little differently on Friday on the road, and then, uh, you know, Saturday I didn't really care for our first period. After that, uh, you know, the second and third we had a lot of opportunities to, to, you know, get the game going in our direction. We didn't, and. Um, you know, it's a kind of a bit of a lesson, though, too, that you have to put 60 minutes together. Do you think maybe that hockey and that schedule going to double overtime Friday maybe played a bit of a factor in the end result uh, on Saturday night? No, well, it could have, but, uh, you know, again, I think it's just, uh, you know, bearing down around the net. Uh, it's something that we've been trying to work on in practice. Uh, you know, you, you know, just trying to, you know, if you're, if you're you know, we, we said earlier that, you know, you got to try to score three goals first to, to win hockey games and you know we didn't get one so you know we had uh, if we would have scored the three we would have won the hockey game and with them getting the empty netter but uh, uh, you know I think I think we had enough energy it was just uh, just not executing. you never you know happy about a loss but is it okay to have a loss this time of year because you know you could get wrapped up in a win streak and that publicity around the teams is something that can refocus a group heading uh, into the stretch drive of October? Yeah, you know, it's a whole new group, but, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, we've broken enough records here. You know, it's, <laughs> we, um, you know, we need to, uh, you know, worry about where we're at at the end of the year. And, you know, if a loss is going to help us, uh, you know, kind of worry a little bit more about our details, and that's what it's going to take. And, you know, we're, it's not going to get any easier this week when you go into back into Merritt, you go into West Kelowna, who's had uh, their ups and downs. So, um, you know, for us, it's, you know, I think our attention to detail is critical. I mean, we're not a team that's going to blow the doors open with, you know, six, seven goals a night. So, um, you know, I guess getting that loss will get, kind of get uh, the guys refocused. A good stretch of games to end October. We talk about this weekend, uh, two divisional games, Merritt and West Kelowna. These are games I think guys like to have with close rivals, especially in tough environments. You think the guys are excited for a weekend like this going on the road to two tough buildings? Well, I think one of the things we've been pretty good at over the last couple of years is bouncing back after a loss. And, you know, so I think you could tell our guys were, you know, kind of ready to get back on the, uh, on the saddle there uh, yesterday in practice. And um, so, yeah, I mean, we have two short trips, uh, you know, a little bit of an hour and a half to Merritt or so, and depending on the weather, and then a 45 minute or down the, down the, the road there to West Kelowna. And both are very, uh, you know, difficult places to win and, you know, good hockey teams and, um, you know, Merritt's right, uh, you know, not that far behind us when you really look at it. And, and obviously West Kelowna, um, you know, like I said, they were off to a good start then they've kind of had a bit of a lull and uh, you know, the best way for them to get back on track is to get a win against us and we're aware of that. A little bit uh, away from the V's itself right now. Some off-ice news recently. Johnny Tyconic was selected for the Under-17 World Hockey Challenge. He'll be leaving after the weekend to go represent Canada. What's that mean to see another Penticton V wear that maple leaf on the international stage? Well, I think it's great. I mean, I think, uh, you know, a lot of times when players choose, you know, the, this route, uh, um, they worry about how that's going to affect their opportunities with the Hockey Canada people and you know we've proven over the years that it hasn't uh, so, you know the last three years now we've had somebody on that team and um, so yeah it's it's a great feather in his cap uh, for Johnny and um, you know we're real, real happy for him. Trying to win a gold medal like Griffin Mendel did last year as well. Thanks to Fred Harbinson, Fraser Rogers, this has been V's View on Casanet.net.